is up ladies and gentlemen thank you guys so much for watching the third episode in the series this series being tackle tip tuesday here is the third version and today we're going to talk about a critical absolutely critical technique that i learned recently for redfish what i was dealing with is that they were not hitting up and this is one thing that i found out from some of the locals that i was fishing with or fishing near in one of the videos you'll see it but <clears throat> I was fishing above the fish and apparently during the winter time a lot of the redfish they don't like to eat upwards and them not liking to feed upwards means that floating a, a popping cork floating a slip bobber floating any sort of bait above them is not going to entice them but as soon as I switched to just a plain and simple technique of just a jig head now this is a very simple jig head you can get mustache jig heads all sorts of jig heads doesn't really seem to matter. All I worried about is having a nice, strong, sturdy jig head. So when you start catching redfish, it lasts you a long time. But this is just a simple white jig head. And I mean, color didn't seem to matter that particular day. All that matters is I put a little sh piece of shrimp on there. I let it sit on the bottom. And eventually a redfish would come through, the school would come through, and then we would hit up. And I caught multiple fish, as well as some of the other buddies that I took. They personally caught some of their first fish and it was an outstanding trip without further ado this is the bait that i used this is just a quarter ounce jig head it's white it's got a little eye there nothing fancy just a standard stereotypical jig with some frozen shrimp believe it or not and we were hooking up on some good sized reds and it was fun and it was my first time catching a redfish standing up in my kayak which is a personal first experience there um, but again all i have to say is and I was just using a nice, decent jig head with a strong hook, which is absolutely critical for these fish that are just gonna go crazy after you get hooked. Um, I was just tying it straight to the braid, but we have some dirty water near me, so the dirty water will disguise the braid pretty well. And I was just using like 20 pound braid on the 13 fishing fate black rod and then a Pen Battle 2 and this is the 2500 series I do believe and paired with that 20 pound braid and just sinking on the bottom and the fate black is I do believe like a 6.6 six, uh, foot rod or 6.7 foot rod uh, and it was just doing doing work on these fish thank you guys so much for watching if you guys thoroughly enjoyed Tackle Tip Tuesday please like this video and subscribe leave a comment in the comment section below if you guys are truly enjoying these videos or if you guys have any questions please leave that in the comment section below as well as what i should do for the next tackle tip tuesday thank you guys so much for watching if you guys have not seen this tackle tip tuesday as well as this video down below please check it out also don't forget to subscribe my buddy's channel is linked right below that thank you so much fish now worry later